Hey guys, Brandon here. In this video, I want to show you some of the um, accessories and uh, I guess some cleaning supplies as well that I find most useful with uh, the Teslas. And uh, so it's the holiday season. It's probably a little bit late to do any shopping. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve, but nevertheless, here's some stuff that um, I find enhances my Tesla ownership experience. First, I'll start off with key fobs. So this is a Model X key fob. This is a silicon, um, silicon, silicone, silicone. I don't know. Anyway, cover. Uh, it's um, non-slip, which may be good or bad, depending on if you want this to be able to slip in, slip out of your pocket pretty easily. Uh, the reason I have this is um, I wanted a key ring because I like to keep my keys um, on a rack like this. And this one uh, does the bill, or fits the bill, does the job, whatever. Um, it does make it a little bit thicker, which is not as big a deal with the Model S key fob, but the Model X fob is already pretty fat, so I'm not a big fan of the bulk. These I got from Amazon. I'll have a link to these, all these items um, in my account. And I actually have most of these summaries on a, on a kit, um, kit account, kit.com. So I'll have links to all that stuff. Anyway, so it gets the job done in terms of uh, doing that. It also has the added bonus of glowing in the dark. But not very bright or very long. I thought it would kind of help for like high, high, uh, finding the key fob in the dark or something, but not really. One potential issue with this item is that um, the connector is made of silicon, and if you're particularly rough on them, uh, they can break. Okay, let's head out in the garage, and here I'm showing you one of the um, I, or, uh, cell phone holders that I've used. This one has a gel suction cup and is pretty strong and pretty stable. Also, this can be washed. Like, it, if you get it dirty, it's, the dirt will stick on it because it's sticky, and that helps for, like, keeping it on the surface. But, um, again, it gets dirty, but you can just wash it with, like, soap and water and let it dry, so it's pretty good. It's also uh, spring-loaded, so as you push your phone down, um, it locks into place. And then um, you can open it like that. So it's pretty convenient. It swivels and locks. It's not too long, so it's not shaky at all. Um, I think I used one of these for my first cross-country trip where I was just recording with my cell phone. <clears throat> um, and this is made by IOTTI, I-O-T-T-I-E. They have a bunch of different variations. I have not been using a cell phone um, holder for a while now, but this is the one that I used to use. Okay, let's move into the vehicles, and then I'll show some exterior stuff. Um, what I want to show he here is these are uh, 3D uh, Max Spider, um, uh, what do you call these, mats. They're multi-layered, and they've got a nice lip here. They're kind of, they're indented, so they keep moisture down there. They don't slip. They've got this kind of... Almost like um, Velcro stuff on the on the underside, which um, keeps it from slipping at all, and they fit nicely and snugly. Um, so I'm pretty happy with them. This one's kind of dirty. That's about what it looks like. If you want to know? So compare those. Also, they're a little bit softer than another one I've used, which I have in my Model S, and that is the Weather um, Weather Tech ones, which are they, the shape is fine, um, but it's just a thin piece of um, plastic, albeit durable plastic or something. I'm not exactly sure what it is. And um, they fit they fit okay, but they kind of, I don't know if it's warping or, or what you'd call it, uh, uh, but I feel like the other ones fit a little bit better, and they're, they're just kind of hard plastic. It also shows the dirt like crazy on these. Um, so... So these are WeatherTechs. I think these are the kind that Tesla has on their website. The other ones are called uh, 3D Max Spider. I know uh, EvanX has some different ones, um, which I haven't tried, ones with like pitted holes. Those don't have li lips, so I don't use those as much because um, I like something that kind of goes over here um, all the way to the edge because my in snow country and we have a lot of salt here, so... There's all kinds of stuff that come off my feet during the winter. All right, so that's a, a footwear accessory. Now here is a recent addition. Uh, this is Greenworks uh, cordless um, air compressor with a half gallon tank 
and uh, I don't know how long this cord is, maybe eight feet or something like that. This is their uh, 24 volt variety. So they also have larger ones that are corded as well as uh, one that will fit the 40 volt batteries. Um, I think that's the biggest battery. I have other tools of Greenworks that fit the G24 uh, volt battery. Um, so this was a good fit to me. In terms of power, um, it's okay. It goes up to whatever that's listed. I don't know. It's got 250. When I pump it up, it I might get up to 200 or 150. Um, and I have it like all the way to the max that it will do. Um, it says 115 PSI here. So I guess that is the max that it will pump out. So initially, um, when you hook that up to the tire, it does put out that much pressure. Um, but the pump in this thing is not powerful enough to keep up in real time when air is going into the tire. Um, so I do have to take a little break. Well, not, not really a break, but so when I'm, when I'm topping my tires off, usually, I don't know, maybe they'll be at 35 to 40 or something, and these are supposed to be at 45 PSI. Um, I have to let this thing uh, pump all the way up, and then I can get uh, probably one tire up another five PSI points, and then uh, the pump comes on and has to cycle. But I can't be filling air and pumping at the same time, at least at the at the top of the pressure. Um, but it's plenty for me. Um, I, I think these are listed for like, I don't know, $90 or something on the website. I got one on eBay for much less because um, I already had the battery. Uh, so I didn't need the extra battery. But it's a good thing to have, if you, especially if you're in a cold area. And our tires here in the cold get... Um, a lot softer so you have to pump it up and it's a lot more convenient than going to some uh, tire store and waiting in line. Next I want to talk about uh, washing so here I've got this is another Greenworks item uh, this is their uh, one of their pressure washers which is corded um, uh, but it's electric obviously and this is like I don't know some 2000 model or something like that it does have a soap tank although it doesn't set up as much as I would I was hoping it would but uh, this works great, especially for uh, the front of Teslas, which tend to accumulate a lot of bugs on the front. Um, although it's winter right now, so we don't have a lot of bugs. But it's super useful for cleaning off um, brake dust and uh, bugs and all that kind of stuff. You do have to be careful if you have a um, protective paint film. Uh, you can see here they can start to... Uh, peel off and if and if your um, water spray edge gets underneath here you can start to lift your um, uh, thin film protective layer PPF paint protective film so be careful with that all right let's keep moving we'll do more exterior stuff so this is a bug spray called bug off that I use um, it's pretty good I, I mean there's probably a number of different sprays that you can get but what these do basically is dissolve um, and loosen bug guts on the outside so that you can just spray them off with your pressure washer or wipe them off um, easily while you're washing your car. So this is a good thing to have. And speaking of cleaners, this is uh, wash wax, um, all wash wax by Aero Cosmetics. It's a uh, waterless wash. So you spray this on and somehow it gets like underneath dirt and creates a very... Um, slippery finish or whatever so that when you wipe it off uh, it doesn't or it's not supposed to give scratches micro, micro scratches so that's handy um, I actually use this uh, quite often I squirt a little bit on a microfiber towel and then I um, I use it to clean off the uh, cameras in the back because they get kind of um, they get kind of grody as well as uh, Model X also gets a lot of grunge on this one on the side ones you can see here so I'll, um, I'll coat that. It would be good for these ones to have, and the rear ones, to have a, um, a uh, hydrophobic or something coating so they don't get as dirty. For those of you in winter areas, um, snow brush, I mean snow brush and scraper, very useful for um, uh, assisting your uh, heaters and getting snow off. This one is also uh, telescoping. So just twist it and then it becomes uh, 
longer for um, which is really nice for reaching across windshields and stuff like that especially when the cars are uh, higher such as the Model X or if you need to get it off the top of the Falcon Wing doors. Next are plush microfiber uh, towels. These are super handy um, not just for cleaning the outside of course when you're washing your car besides using um, a good amount of soap or, or some sort of cleaner um, so you're not dragging dirt across the uh, clear coat. You want a good um, plush microfiber so that the dirt goes into the towel and isn't um, dragged across the paint's clear coat in that manner either. So these I just got from Costco. It was like in a 20 pack or 30 pack or something like that. So, And I also always keep one inside the vehicles because it's very handy. Um, to wipe off any uh, fingerprints or something on the main display, which it tends to accumulate quite a bit, or on the crazy glossy surfaces that are here sometimes, as well as any spills on the um, seats or something like that. Um, and also, one of the tricks to keeping your car looking new over time is to uh, keep the dust down. Uh, I don't know if you can see it too well there, but so I'm often just doing a quick wipe um, on the dash, especially the um, dash of the Model X, it seems to accumulate a lot of dust. Um, but so having just having a towel in the vehicle at all times is really helpful. Okay, two more um, that I kind of forgot about because they're actually wrapped as Christmas gifts. One is a key ring for the Model X fob to replace the one that broke. Instead of getting an, getting another cover, though, this time I found a key ring that has a really small and thin lanyard on it that can just strap inside the Model X fob. I haven't put it on yet, otherwise showed you, I would show you, but um, they're actually kind of surprisingly hard to find. Most of the uh, accessories for the fobs are like covers, which adds like bulk to it, which I don't like. Um, so I'm going to try this. Uh, I'm hoping it's pretty strong. I mean, we don't put like keys and stuff on the fob. We just use it to hang up on that rack, but over time it can wear out so hopefully hopefully it's really good material. I would think that it actually be pretty easy just to make um, if you can get like a super strong nylon or even like I don't know fishing fishing tie or something just attach a little loop to uh, a key ring. But anyway so that's one thing if you just want something if you want a key ring on your Model X but don't want a fob cover or uh, the silicone ones can um, break then there's there's that option. And then the other thing is uh, something to prevent messes um, between your seat and the console, that, that crack, that gap there. Uh, there's a product called um, Drop Stop. Uh, and I haven't installed this in the car yet, so I don't know for sure that it works really well because, again, it's a Christmas gift. Um, but you, it's, you put this in between, you kind of shove this in between the, um, I should just show you. All right, so uh, between the seat and the console, there's this gap here, and includes the seatbelt area. And uh, the problem with this is that, like, my phone always falls out of my pocket and falls down in that groove. Uh, food always fa falls down there. Like, there's all kinds of stuff that just ends up going down um, into the abyss over there. So, uh, yeah, this product called. Uh, drop stop um, stops the drop and uh, it shoves in there it's got a hole for the seat belt and stuff like that so it kind of seals that area off to prevent all kinds of um, stuff from being eternally lost in the um, endless gap so um, I think that's the last one that I can think of one last one that I wanted to mention that I don't actually have in my garage right now is something called iron X uh, that's a solution um, that you can spray on the outside and it removes those orange uh, specks and flecks that accumulate on your uh, paint, especially uh, behind wheels and, and the back. And they're basically little tiny rust particles, not like, not on the, not rust on the frame, it's on top of the clear coat. Um, yeah, like there's a good one right there, a little piece of orange. Um, Seems quite minor, but when they add up, it definitely gives your, uh, um, yeah, here's some more. That guy, that guy right there. So it seems quite minor, but when they build up, they kind of give your uh, car kind of a spackled um, appearance. 
but it's from like metal particles or whatever that get kicked up from the road and then they implant on the um, surface, but they actually rust. So you can spray this stuff on. They're, they're hard to get off. You, you can like kind of scratch them off, but that's not the best thing. So this is, um, I don't know what the chemical is, but it dissolves the iron and it actually kind of turns purple and you can see it kind of dripping off. I have a whole video on it if you want to check it out. Um, but anyway, it's, it's really useful for the cars because you just spray it on there, let it sit for a while and uh, just rinse it off and gone are those specs. Uh, so that's it. Those are the current accessories and uh, cleaning supplies that I use and that I find useful. Um, there's quite a few accessory makers that have like different organizers for different areas of the vehicle, like uh, the, in the console and some of the slots up there in the console. You can get different organizers to convert it into drawers. You can also get um, like some for the glossy areas on the console, especially like Model 3 that attracts a lot of fingerprints. You can get um, a matte uh, surface that you just apply right on top of there so it doesn't uh, get coated in, or well, it still gets fingerprints, but you don't see them. And of course, there's all kinds of storage solutions for the back, like nets and different um, cargo divisions and stuff like that. Um, so I don't have any of those, so I can't really comment on those because I haven't really found one that I find to, uh, you know, be too useful that I want to buy. I think if I, if I had, what happens is if I have like more organizers, I just end up carrying more stuff instead of trying to be minimalistic about it. So hope that's helpful. Um, if you have any cool items that, uh, you use routinely, um, feel free to share it in the, um, in the discussion down below. And of course, if you think this video is useful for other people, feel free to share it. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.